Hey Tim, you in there? Hey guys. We're gonna check out the gym and see what's in the fridge today. How about that? Come on in. Hey guys, this is our, our gym here in Nashville and I was gonna run you through a few things that I like to do. How do you warm up? Uh, this is uh, an anterior posterior stretch that I like to start out with just about every day. This is a really good stretch that you start on your toes, you come up like that, then you roll it backwards and lift your toes. How often do you work out? I try to work out every day. I, I, I don't really plan on days off, although I've, I've learned a little bit more moderation as I've gotten older because uh, it takes a little more time to recover. I'm gonna start with a push up and it goes into an up dog, down dog, and then a lunge with a twist. You start here, do a push up, then to this position, and then to this position, foot up by your hand and twist. What's your favorite part of working out? Probably my favorite part of the workout is I start every morning out with either a 30 minute or sometimes an hour walk on the treadmill. You know, at 52 years old, you gotta do the things that you gotta do to get your body warmed up and going and so you don't pull anything or hurt anything or injure yourself. And the last thing I wanna do is, is injure myself in a way that I can't perform or I can't continue to work out. How do you work out on the road? When I'm on the road, it's a little different because I'll get up every morning, have a gym on the road. That's a trailer that I carry with me. And then there's some breakfast. And right before lunch, we usually go into the stadium and run the stadium steps. We come out and we do our outdoor, our version of CrossFit, which is usually centered around the battle ropes. And we set up like four or five different workouts, like push, pull, upper body, lower body kind of things. How many people join you? Well, it starts, sometimes it starts with about 10 of us. And, by the time we're finished, it may be down to two or three. And that's the key to anything I think working out is, is finding what works for you, and finding something that motivates you and finding something that's well within your limits that you can do and then constantly pushing yourself a little bit. Does working out help your performances? All of the exercises I do, I've really noticed a big difference in my workout routines. And I've noticed a big difference in my stage performance. Sort of subconsciously, when I first started working with Roger Juan, and we were doing a lot of animalistic moves or animal moves. I would find myself starting to do those in, on the stage. It's it, dropping into a pistol. Can you show us your move? I can't do it. I can't do it unless I'm on stage. It's funny, unless the adrenaline's going in, because I don't want to bust my ass in front of everybody. What do you do on the TRX? This is a, you know, you do, just do some pull-ups with this thing or some back, back work with this, the TRX bands. Do a lot of these kind of things where you alternate them low. And then, um, I like to do the one-legged squats with these. Does that help with your pistol squats? Yeah, they do help with the pistol squats for sure. And those are really good. And there's also a thing you can do with these where you, you take a, a dumbbell and you just do this. And then you switch sides. Well, I'm out of breath. <laughs> do you do anything special for your voice? You know, for me, singing is my whole body. I use every part of my body to sing. I'm not this natural singer that just sort of opens their throat up and great music comes out. I, to me, it's a whole body experience and I have to put everything in it. So getting into shape and doing some of these older songs that are really high have really helped me a lot. They helped me with my pitch, sustaining my pitch, and they've helped me with sustaining long notes. What do you listen to when you're working out? Well, I used to run. I mean, uh, Bruno Mars is a great, is a great running track, but uh, I'm pretty hooked on the Eagles. If I'm not listening to country music from the 70s or 80s or the Eagles rock and roll from the 70s or 80s, I'm probably not listening to much. <laughs> Certainly not listening to me, that's for sure. How do you keep your mind fit? For me, working out is a meditation. I mean, I consider my workout that. I mean, I, it's a place where I can sort of let everything go. How do you use that bar? Yeah, this is a, this is just a little ab work that's sort of a good warm up in the morning. It's just a, you twist your body and raise your knee. Plus it strengthens your, your shoulders and your back. And I had elbow surgery a few years ago. So this one's tough for me because my right elbow doesn't straighten out as far as my left one. So I'm always accommodating for that. Do you have any scars? Do I have memorable scars? I've got a lot of scars. <laughs> I've got a, got a scar on my eye, both two scars on my eye, both from baseball. Got a big gash on my head from a bouncer with a flashlight in a bar fight. Um, I have a big gash on the back of my heel, wahoo fishing in the Bahamas. And we got into some wahoo, caught one, threw it on the boat, and I hooked another one. 
And while I was reeling the other one in, the Wahoo, which has very sharp teeth, was laying with its mouth open and I backed my heel up in it and gashed it really deeply. And you could see the Achilles. I just missed the Achilles tendon, which would have been pretty bad. That's a pretty good score. I'm proud of that one. What about tattoos? I have, uh, gosh, I have my wife's name. I have a cross that has my wife's initials and my daughter's initials in it. I have a leprechaun on the cowboy hat right here. And that was because my dad, Tug, always wore a, a gold leprechaun charm. And so I, I have that charm, but my brother Mark has one as well. So you guys wanna see what I eat? I mean, this is what I eat most of the time, especially when I'm training. We'll go over to the fridge here. So like after I work out, and usually before my workout, I'll do a little bit of a muscle milk. I'm a muscle milk fan. So I do a little bit of muscle milk and, and I'll sip one while I'm working out. So when I finish, typically when I'm training especially, uh, this is usually my go-to meal. The green juice is, is really a, a necessity for me. I mean, I, I can really feel a difference when I'm drinking the green juice every day. And there's kale and there's apple and there's jalapenos. Do you drink that after a workout? I drink it after a workout. And sometimes I drink it in the morning, especially when my wife gets up early and makes it. We'll do it in the morning but before I work out. What do you eat for breakfast? I don't eat a lot of breakfast. I'm not a big eater in the morning, but I do, do want something on my stomach before I start. So sometimes it'll be a muscle milk. Sometimes it'll be some this Dave's bread that's really grainy and, and hearty that with some natural peanut butter and a glass of whole milk. I like whole milk, so I'll have a glass of whole milk with that. And then lunch is when I'm really trying to be healthy and really in training when I'm getting ready for a tour or for a photo shoot or a movie or something like that. My go-to is usually kale salad, which I, I'm really a big fan of. I, mean, I can eat this whole thing. What do you put in your salad? Oh my gosh, there's Parmesan cheese and there's golden raisins and there's sliver of almonds and a little bit of olive oil and some lemon juice. That's what's in that. And um, I grew up eating tuna. When we were kids, it was a cheap way to eat because you could get, buy a whole bunch of cans of tuna and you could throw a bunch of stuff in it. You could feed, you know, the whole family for a little while, so. What do you put in your tuna? You know, I'm from Louisiana, so I like pecans in it. Sometimes I like walnuts in it. I love apple in it. My mom makes these sweet and spicy pickles, and she always gives me a bunch of jars of sweet and spicy pickles for Christmas, so I chop those up and put in there, and I put chili peppers in it, because, you know, the spicy chili peppers are great for your metabolism, so I try to put those on just about everything that I eat. Do you cook? Uh, I, I can cook, I like to cook. Um, my wife's a great cook, and, uh, but most of the time at our house, we, we're, we're cooking. What would we never find in your fridge? I'm not a salmon eater. I'm, I like fish, but for some reason, salmon and, and me don't get along. So everybody else in my family likes salmon. You won't see any salmon from, from me. Do you ever have a cheat meal? Look, I, I like a cheat meal. I mean, I'll prepare for it. Like if I know I want some, I love pizza. So if I know I'm gonna have a pizza on a Friday night and watch a movie with the kids, then you try to put a little extra time in for that. Or I love a cheeseburger and you gotta earn your cheeseburger. You know, if you wanna have a cheeseburger, go earn it. And that's what I try to do is I try to earn it the, the day I'm gonna have it. Have you ever done a fad diet? I, I've done things like, done a little bit of keto for a little while or done a little of vegetarian for a little while. But what I find that works for me is just finding a really well-balanced, healthy diet that works best for me and my routine and my active lifestyle. And, and I find that I need some, some meat protein for me. It's just part of my DNA, I think. What do you snack on? You know, during the day, I'll eat some almonds. I'll make a homemade protein shake, which I like to do that. Around five, you know, on, on the road, especially when we're having catering, and I'll eat something healthy, like a piece of fish or something off of that. I try not to eat too much at all at that time. I usually save my meal for after I, I do a show. I, there's something about hitting the stage hungry. That there, There's some metaphoric about it that, that I really get into. What's in that box over there? Oh, th these, oh, these are these are uh, kind bars. These are a good snack for me in the middle of the day when I haven't eaten or something to fall back on. Any of the bars, I don't make a habit out of eating too much of them, but it's nice to have something that you can grab if you're in a hurry, or if you're really busy. All right, time for our rapid fire questions. 7 a.m. workout or 7 p.m.? 7 a.m., but like I said on the road, they last throughout the day. Squat or deadlift? Uh, squat. Favorite song on your playlist? Favorite song on the playlist is Blow. It's Ed Sheeran, uh, Bruno Mars, and Chris Stapleton. That's a smoking record. CrossFit, yay or nay? Yes. Pull-ups or chin-ups? Pull-ups. Dumbbells or kettlebells? Both. Run on the treadmill or the great outdoors? Um, I prefer outdoors, but my knees don't take it that well anymore. Big legs or big arms? Oh, boy, I'd like to have both. Cardio or weights? Cardio. I'm Pretty, I'm a big fan of cardio. Biggest compliment, jacked, ripped, cut, or swole? Ripped. If you could work out with anyone, dead or alive, who would it be? Do some karate with Elvis. Hey guys, it's time for me to eat my lunch or I'm gonna fall flat out on you, so I'll see you in a little while after I take a bite of this.